Okay, let's see what I can do.
Hello, everybody. Everybody doing okay here in the stream this morning? Let's see. That button and boom! Magic! How's it going? Good to see y'all. <laughs> but we'll be getting started here in just a minute. I am uh, pretty stoked. This is one of my favorite games. We are closing in on the end of it, so we shall see what happens. Um, let me know if I am not loud enough or if the music is too loud or whatever. Uh, I could definitely see that happening. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, start up the game and just get a, try to get a feel for what we were doing, where we are, all that jazz. I think, I think we have all the items that we needed. I think we, we just recently got everybody back up to snuff on items. Although I should really track down somebody who can sell me some more uh, like high-powered weapons for... Uh, Jeff, because those are definitely going to come in handy soon, so, and I'm going to stay here for a while, help Mr. Saturn, oh, that's right, we're going back to Onnit, ah, yes, to a little town called Onnit, I don't know that there's a good place to actually get out of here with a teleport, we're, we're going to try, not going to work very well, but we'll just, <laughs> See what we can do. Ah, it's too small. Woo! <laughs> All right, there we go. Got that taken care of now. Okay, so on it is awful now. Uh, after we uh, found all our sanctuary lo locations and stuff like that, uh, looks like Gigas came to on it and sort of messed it up. So very unfortunate for us, but uh, we're we're doing night. Good night. So, I don't know why I didn't sleep at Mr. Saturn's house before coming up this way. That would have been a smart move. But I'm not a smart pants, so I didn't think to do that because I'm stupid. But I am so dumb. I am full of all of the dumbs. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's a good place to be in. Okay. All right, so we're supposed to get a piece of the meteorite that landed so that we can... Hey, what's up, bad guy? So that we can make it to, uh... Use, use the machine and get to... Uh, dimension. Or something. So, that's kind of where we're, where we're sitting right now. Uh, for those of you who... Shark Studio says, I cannot get enough of your hair. It is so awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I I really do. Um, it wasn't wasn't entirely cooperating with me this morning, so I'm glad you you like it. <laughs> Come here, bad guys. I'll beat you both up. I'm gonna beat you silly. Okay, I don't remember if it's a good idea to use fire on these guys or not, but hey, what could possibly go wrong, right? Wow. Good job, Coop. Good job, buddy. Glad you used an expensive ability. Oh, dang. Ah, oh, dang. Okay. Um, well. Well, <laughs> better uh, better take these guys out quick. In that case, make sure that uh, there we go. This is looking better. This is definitely looking better than it was a minute ago because I was looking kind of scary. Luckily, I think we should be able to cure diamondization with even just this level. Yeah, here we go. And then we're going to be able to rest. Woo! Oh! No, we're not going to... Well, maybe we'll be able to rest. I was like, hey, we're going to be able to rest. The house is super shady. But I guess the house is super shady just because it's dark outside and not because anything bad's happening in here. At least I hope not. Woo! 
Hi, Mom! Oh, Moops, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around on it now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I'm a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some bagels? Of course! Are you more relaxed? Okay. Um, Shark Studio says, where did you get your hair done? I actually do it myself. So, uh... Yeah, there's that. Hopefully that's a, uh, hopefully that's helpful. <laughs> Alrighty, um, I'm go ahead and make a restore point just so that we're sure we're. Wow, there's a lot of bad guys here. Wow, I really don't know. <laughs> uh, this is not this is not a fight that I want to have. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Um, the ghost of Starman. Okay, I didn't even remember that that was a thing. So, I think this is going to end poorly for me, because I, I think he probably has a shield of one type or another on, which means I'm probably going to end up dealing a lot of damage to myself. But, anyway, we'll just see what happens. Oh, okay. Well, that ended up way better than I thought it might have. Could have been a lot worse than it were. Let's see how much damage we can do to him on one go. Okay, there we go. All right, we're good to go. Now we can start moving on. We wanna, we wanna really get a get a move on to the top of the mountain there and get to that meteorite before we lose too much health or get into too many fights because, uh, you know, we're gonna probably have to do a pretty big fight up there if I remember correctly so we're just gonna try to get through this without too much trouble <laughs> okay Heavy bazooka okay let's see if if I can get by that new star storm again aha his body was solidified and gosh darn it I missed again Poop bears. Aha! His body was solidified again. Solidification. Okay. Let's see if we can get this guy without having to actually use any side powers now. Boom! Yeah, we got him with a bazooka! Bazooka! So yeah, we're really winding down on the end of this game, which is, you know, kind of a bummer. It's kind of bittersweet, because we've, we've really had a whole lot of fun. We've really, uh, you know, it's one of my, the more fun playthroughs of this game that I've had for sure. For, no! Just, just don't hit me, okay? Oh, poops bears. No, that's, no, no, it's okay. No, that's that's okay. Okay, we've we've just got to kill him. Everybody has to die now. Come on, come on, do it, do the thing, do the thing. Gosh darn it! I was hoping that that would be enough to kill him before it was. Ah, uh, gosh darn it. All right, well, we can still revive everybody. It's, it's, it's not, we don't even have to go back. It's just a pain. And the fact that it pretty much just happened because, uh... okay, so I should use gamma. On both of them, and then we we'll use life up gamma on both of them. It's great that Moops just has such an insane amount of PP. It just means that he can just keep healing people almost indefinitely, which is very, very nice. Okay. Definitely want to avoid that happening again because that was not a fun thing at all. 
Right, we're gonna save his last Psy Storm. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and try to get him some more PP. Yeah, it's been a really, really fun playthrough of this game. It's, it's made, made me really happy to get to play through it with you guys and, and uh, you know, just have as much fun as we have. And I just really appreciate everybody coming along and, uh, you know, kind of humoring me on this adventure. All right, come on! Kill all the Batmans! Come on, come on, come on. Darn it! Ugh. Kill it, dead! There we go. Ooh, okay. There's a lot of almost dying right there. <laughs> Whew, whole lot of almost dying. Realize the power of Psy Fire Omega! Okay, not really looking forward to this boss fight we're coming up on, because I can't even remember how bad of a boss fight it is or anything, but. It definitely looks like we could be doing better HP-wise and stuff. I'm going to try to see what the difference between HP, 400 HP to everyone. Ah, yes. Well, that does sound like something that would be really nice to use right now. Yep, that's, that's good. That's really nice. I don't think I've ever had that move before. Treasure Hunter, this is Lyra X Adjurate's house. Ah, and it's just locked, I guess. Or summit. <laughs> okay. Well, we made. There's something shiny you could reach. Do you want to try to get it? Yes. Okay, Moop's got the meteorite piece. Oh, I guess that's all I had to do. I guess. I guess that was it. Good, good job. Good job, team. Wonder if I can get out of here without having to fight anymore. <laughs> if I fight these guys over here, I think I can teleport out now. So, we're just gonna go ahead and just waste them. These guys aren't gonna get, get to do much before they die a horrible death. So also be the first full playthrough of a game that I've done on my channel as live streams, which is really cool. Um, you know, I've I've had a lot of uh, let's plays and stuff on my channel. I've even finished a couple of games here or there, it's, but this will be the first time that I've actually uh, done a, a live stream of a game from start to finish. So, you know, as live streams have become a little more of a staple on my channel, it's it's pretty cool to actually see that. So. Very excited about that, too. So, all right, let's come here and rest for the night. We must rest in order to be prepared. Okay, I actually do need to try to teleport somewhere else really quick and see if I can't buy myself some more powerful weapons. Uh, first, I should go to the ATM, because the ATM, any place that I'm really going to be able to get my more powerful stuff uh, the ATMs are going to be expensive they're gonna charge me for withdrawing money so might as well grab my money before we need to use the ATM okay withdrawal okay let's just take out like twenty thousand dollars this is not I've got so much money now it doesn't even matter Nothing can stop me now. I am so incredibly wealthy. Mm -hmm. The wealthiest man you've ever met. Indeed. Okay. So now we can step back down here again. Right here, I think. I should be able to teleport B. And we'll be going to deep darkness because I'm quite certain there's a, a black market guy near the entrance of deep darkness who will sell me anything that I really want right now 
He should be right around here somewhere. There he is. Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? I want the multi-bottle rocket. That's for Dross, and he is going to take so many of them. You don't even know, my friend, how many multi-bottle rockets he is going to take. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be able to use multi-bottle rockets like they are, you know, going out of style. Okay, so that's a Hall of Fame bat. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to sell the death ray and the f uh, the death ray and the super bomb, and then probably give other items to other people. So, give the slime generator to Ivory. Um, give the Hungry HP Sucker to Coop. Inventory management, the most fun part of the game. Uh, and then we'll sell the Death Ray and the Super Bomb. Okay, now. Sell Death Ray. I'm pretty stoked. I've never been able to have this many multi bottle rockets at the end of the game. My money is just off the chain, so um, my my economy really got off the ground in this one. Basically, is what I'm saying. So. It's very, very nice to have so much high, so many high-powered weapons here at the end of the game. Because um, I'm definitely going to be able to just get into one of the final fights of the game and then just start dropping multi-bottle rockets like nobody's business. Which sounds really wonderful. Sounds like the kind of thing you really want to be able to do in this game. Let's just go. Oh! There's bad guys, and they are very strong. That's too bad, because I'm going to smoosh them. I'm going to smoosh them real good right there. <laughs> okay. Last things last, go ahead and sleep one more time. That way I'm all full up on all of my, my stats, all my abilities. And then it's pretty much time, I think. Hmm. If only I had a piece of a meteorite, I might be able to extract some zexanite. Okay, I've got this meteorite piece. Ah, yes, that is, this is fantastic. What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. This is very intriguing. All right, leave everything to us and get, you get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. Okay, so we're supposed to sleep again. Which is kind of funny. That's not really uh, something I'm too worried about. Uh, but I actually should... Now that I'm thinking about it and we're continuing to, like, get ready to go do some of the hardest stuff in the game, we should go to Summers and get some magic tarts. Come on, we can make it! Ooh, that was a close one. They almost didn't have enough space there. There should be the magic tart lady around here somewhere, and we should be able to purchase some magic tarts from her... And that will put us in a really good situation because we will have PP recovery items. Selling magic charts. And again, we have plenty of money, so it's kind of perfect. more for Coop. Okay. Well, everybody, it's just about that time, I think. I can't remember 100% if this is the end end of the game that we're coming up on. Uh, like in this exact moment. Something on my 
camera. Um, but it's definitely, definitely the home stretch. I'm pretty sure that the game ends after this, so we're just gonna see what happens. I, I guess we're ready. I guess we couldn't get much more ready than we are right now, so. It's about to get kind of drugs, so... Finds complete. The Phase Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid. Get right in. There is just one thing, though. You might not be able to return, so make sure you are optimally outfitted. Are you ready to go? Yes. Even if you're not 100% perfectly complete, completely ready, well, you should be as prepared as possible. It would be for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. I just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. Excellent, excellent! Everything proceeded as planned. Dr. Andonuts, Mr. Saturn, and I worked together and finally completed the phase disorder. The purpose of the device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points within the same time period. It is able, however, to search out the location of enemies. Right now, it is indicating the presence of enemies in the Lost Underworld. <coughs> Last, the time has come. Are you ready? Are you ready, everyone? It's time! Remember, the Phase Distorted Version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid. Get right in. Okay. It's time to rock and roll. Oh, yeah, this place is drugsy. We've seen this place before. Little glimpses of it from other rooms and stuff like that. So, oh, hey, look, it's our weird tornado friend. Greetings, so you're finally here. Excellent, you're truly excellent. There was only a little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. Coop became conscious of Psystorm Omega. Okay, well, that'll definitely be helpful with the ability to do you. Kidnapped, I was, boing. Kidnapper, bad guy, bad guy, gone, zoom. Where to the past? Ding, ding. Moops checked the broken phase disorder. There was a horn of life. Moops got a horn, horn of life. Okay, well, you know, that's that nice. Okay, no problem here. What do you, what do you mean, no, no problem here? There's a big weird tentacle thingy. I've assumed your big weird tentacle thingy is important. There's there's no no problems with this big weird tentacle thingy. I, I kind of think I'm supposed to click on this. I, that's why I remember. Check, talk, okay. There we go. The phase disorder has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gigas is attacking from our exact location, but he's attacking from many years in the past. This is very hard for me to tell you, but. But. You must warp to the past and fight, but. We here too, boing. Okay. I just, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on! Input your command. Communicate. Okay, so we're, we're just gonna save really quick. And then we're gonna go talk to them again, again? I don't know. I kind of thought that, uh... I'm a little confused what's going on. Looks like these guys came from a different time period. Okay, so... That was weird. Very hard for me to tell you, but in order to defeat Gigas, who's attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. This can be done by the way of the Phase Disorder 3. However, the machine cannot warp living things. I mean, life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot to the past. Transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. Cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past. Yet you must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gigas by traveling to the past? Yes. Yes, we do. You accept this while knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Yes. Yes, I see. You have really set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Oops. Please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by. All right, so this is the part of the game where we get our, our noggins put into robots so that we can go and fight Gigas in the past because apparently he lives 
before the time we're in now, or something. Okay, well this is going on, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot out a tweet really quick. Oops, Ivory, Coop, Dross, my son. There is no turning back now. Oops, activate the phase disorder three by your ha own hand, thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Yeah, obviously. Only a few people know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you saved through that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. Alrighty, guys. Oh, Shark Studios has got to go. Bye, Shark Studios. Have a great one. Good, good, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. <sighs> the end is nigh. We're robots now. <laughs> There's bad guys here. Okay. Should be able to kill this guy pretty quickly by himself. He's really a, more of a pain when he's working with somebody else, so. There we go. No problems there. It's a super bomb, but I don't care about no stink, a super bomb. Just leave your super bomb behind. Yes. If you keep pressing B, it will just be an, an ever ending circle of reasoning there. So just make sure to press yes whenever I ask you if you're sure you want to leave it behind. Ultimate Octobot. Okay. Well, really gotta deal some quick damage on this fight because that guy will heal himself and that guy might even heal him. And yeah, it's just, it's not gonna be good. Also, if that guy dies, then he has to die quickly because he explodes and kills me all SMASH! Okay, here we go. We have, we have, we're ready to go! Dun, 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 dun. Go ahead and just heal everybody with life up really quick. That way we're all fully healed and ready to go, and we're gonna squish all the monsters, and it's gonna be fun. Everybody gonna die. Well, not everybody, because I'm not gonna die. Just die bad guys. All the bad men stays gonna die. Boom, boom, boom. This is gonna be very painful. This is gonna be very painful. Alright, come on. Alright, come on. Hurry up! Smash! Hey, bazooka. Okay, come on. Everybody kill that guy. Quickly kill that guy. Everybody needs to kill that guy right now. No! There goes Ivory. Okay, well. It's not gonna cost me that much to bring Ivory back to life and then heal everybody, so I guess that's okay. Could have been way worse, I suppose. Could have been. Come on! I hate it when stuff like that happens. What? Why is that not working? I'm 100% sure that you can heal someone back from the dead with that was really dumb I don't know what was up with that that is a 100% sure thing that you can do that I'm not imagining things I 
I know for a fact. I don't know what the game was doing, but it was on some sort of drugs, I think. SMASH! Alright. That's what we want to see here at the end of the game, is just smash attacks every couple of seconds so that I never have to worry about anything. <laughs> You know, I think we're probably going to make it all the way to the end without too much trouble. Well, especially because I'm so prepared items-wise. You know, I can I can use some more powerful Simons and stuff here in the last little bit to get me to the boss because I know that I've got plenty of Psy Restoration items in my inventory and I've got plenty of special attack items and things like that, so... <coughs> okay, let's just go ahead and just blow these guys straight out of the water. No mercy! Fired a beam. Okay, let's go ahead and sign magnet with poop. Get some of that. Some of those. Smash! If I keep smashing all the way along to Gigas, then this is gonna make this a very easy trip indeed. Ooh, butterfly! Max out, max out, max out. Okay. There we go. That butterfly, uh, we might even be able to get him to come back. And if we can't, yes. Oh, perfect. This is great. This could not be better. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to need to get five butterflies in order to get fully healed on moops psi powers <laughs> could not turn into the uh, ultimate octobot or whatever it is yep ultimate octobot Gosh, darn it. Well, that was a huge waste. Smash! That was that was helpful though. Totally scrapped. Okay. So now I should be able to kill him without too much trouble. Even though he can heal himself, I should be able to deal more damage to him more quickly than he generally should be able to heal himself. Come on! That should be it! Yeah! Got him! Okay. Leave the super bomb behind, yes. Okay, gotta go ahead and max everybody's HP out again. Grab this butterfly. Now we're gonna step up and back down, and if if there's no bad guys, then we'll try to get to you butter. Fly again. Oh, gosh. That was close. Okay, well, it doesn't look like trying to use this butterfly to our advantage right now is really a good idea. Uh, it's, it's gotten us to full HP, which is great, and definitely recovered a lot of, like, Coop's power, which is good, but... Uh-oh. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. 
Ah, oh, there's too many animations. Everybody has too many things that they have to do before the fight is over. No! Come on! Come on! Come on, Josh, shoot him! Shoot him in the face! Kill him dead! Ah, gosh darn it! Alright, there we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. That could have gone a, a lot more smoothly than it did. Okay. Now, if this does not... Okay. What was going on then? Specifically, what the heck? Okay. I'm probably just about to get attacked from behind. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Go fight Gigas. Nope, we gotta kill this guy fast. I don't like this at all. He hey, Sawstorm! <laughs> Wolfie's out pizza. Yum, burnt pizza. I forgot it was in the oven. I am very sorry. That's very sad. I actually have a pizza myself uh, in the fridge, so I, I don't even remember that because. That does sound very tasty. Hopefully that will... Yep, don't do that. Don't use the knight pendant in the middle of a fight for no apparent reason. <laughs> Hopefully we can get him. Oh, cool, he just used a, a regular attack on me. But that doesn't happen very often with these robots that can heal themselves. They love to do, do their healing move. Okay, so yeah, time to go ahead and life up everybody again. And then we're gonna keep pushing on, because it's, it's almost that time! That time to fight the big bad. That there big bad guy. Okay, let's see if we can kill this guy before he can get a star storm off on us. And no! Don't heal him, you jerk! Really frustrate. No! Okay, come on. Come on, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Hopefully, this will kill both of them. I think it might be capable of killing both of them, but I'm not 100% sure. Ah, it was enough to kill both of them, but it was not enough to kill both of them before Ivory died. Gosh darn it. Come on. All right, we're we're definitely s sweeping up on. Okay, this is a much better fight. This is a fight I can actually handle. I mean, not that I couldn't handle the other fights, obviously, since you know, clearly I beat them. But Aha! Fired a beam that I narrowly dodged! You should be able to kill him with just regular attacks now. Shouldn't be much left in him. Moops is now level 78. This is definitely the highest level Moops has ever been in any of my games. Which is pretty great. Open the present. Legendary bat inside. Too much stuff already. Go ahead and beat this guy up really quick before we try to deal with inventory and stuff to make room for the legendary bat. Surely we can kill him on before he can heal himself on one turn. There we go. 
Okay. Level 65 for draws. That's helpful. Okay. So now I think the thing to do is to go ahead and use a magic dart on Moops. Get back some of that PP that he's been using. And now we're going to equip the legendary vat. Boom. We have achieved quite the level of power. Dang it, keep making it worse for myself. I shouldn't, I should stop trying to be smart. Try to kill this guy as fast as we can. He is the one that does the crazy stuff. Yep, there's the crazy stuff that I was just talking about just then, just a second ago. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Hurry up. Do your thing. Gosh, darn it. I'm not going to survive this one. Come on. Come on. Die, 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 die. Okay, awesome. Woo! That was a close one right there! Don't you know? Okay, let's see if we can't. Okay, well. That happened, but could be worse, I guess. We're gonna try to squeeze past these guys if we can, because I really don't want to fight them fight anymore. Smash! Okay, that was helpful. That was very helpful. Uh, Wolfie LP says, do you think I should do a Twitter live stream tonight? Yeah, sure, why not? Why not, my friend? Ah! Yes! Well, I believe this is kind of a thing. I'm sitting here trying to remember if it's the end or not. I don't know that it is. But, good a time as any to go ahead and, you know recover some of my lost power. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and create a restore point first, though. Just in case it's a complete waste to go ahead and recover everything now. Okay. So that's plenty of uh, energy recovered for moops. Sun Guts Pills, Picnic Lunch, Slime Generator. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I had as many magic tarts as I did, because I was barely scratching the surface of how much I really needed. Okay, everybody. You ready? Let's do it. There's a whole other area. Okay, good. Good. That's good. That's kind of open. You know, we were pretty much finishing game, but you know, it's just whatever. Uh, there's a butterfly, though. The butterfly is nice. I'm happy. Happy there's butterflies. Let's see if we can beat this guy without having to use any Psy. Yeah, we can. Ah, oh, dang it! Oh my gosh. These star men in there. Star storms. Good gravy. Ugh. I made a mistake! Come on, kill him. Kill him dead. Kill him dead really fast. Smash! Well, there goes Dross, kinda. Is it gonna... Ah, oh, come on! That's not fair. Dross was alive when the level ended. I mean, when the fight ended. You know what I'm saying. <sighs> what do you mean 
it didn't work. Oh, I hate that so much. It's so dumb. There's no reason it shouldn't work. Makes me really want to look it up at some point and just be like, okay, internet, tell me, why does this happen sometimes? Because it definitely happens sometimes where the game is just like, maybe the move that can totally heal dead people can heal dead people right now. But, but why? Eh, reasons. <coughs> no! This is the worst outcome! They literally could not have done anything worse to me, those monsters! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, die, 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 die! Oh my gosh. Ugh. Ugh, I hate this. Come on! Ugh. This is just my life now. This stupid robot is just gonna keep replenishing the 200 to 400 damage that I can deal to him in one turn. But I'm not wasting more smash! There we go. I was like, eventually something different has to happen, right? Okay. Why? Okay. All right, we're looking this up. I, I can't stand this. This is super dumb. That is a move that heals people who have been knocked unconscious. So it is ridiculous for it not to do that. Okay. Why does healing gamma not always work earthbound? Uh, let's see. It also revives a friend who has become unconscious, though HP is not maxed out, and it sometimes doesn't work. Really? Really? So that's the actual description, is sometimes it just doesn't work. Which is kind of really frustrating, because... It seems to not just sometimes not work. It's like 50% of the time right now that it's not working, even though it's generally worked for me every time. It's just right now that it's not working. Okay, bring me to the next area. Come on, bad guys, bring it on. I'm d okay, cool, there's another one, that's good. Whoa! Hello, final star man. Um, could we just not do this? Could that, you know, is, is that anywhere on your, your radar? Us just not doing it? Because I'd be totally cool with that if that's where you want to go with this. Gosh darn it! Gosh darn it, I got brain shocked. Well, if that ain't just the most frustrating thing in the whole world. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have Moops go ahead and use Life Up B on Ivory. Ooh, you solidified. That's actually really helpful to me. No! No! This is a load of baloney!
Come on, kill Starman. Okay, now kill that thing. Kill it quick. Ah, oh, thank God. No, no, stop! No, stop! Gosh darn it! La! Ah! Well, that was super frustrating. That didn't end up very well for me. I was really not trying to do that at all. Oh my gosh! Run away! Oh, that was that was not going to be a fun fight. Not a fun fight at all. Okay. If I can just get everybody back onto their feet. Come on! <coughs> Okay, everybody's got full health, we're all ready to go, everything's all nice and stuff, and ah yes, the most drugsinist part of the entire game. Is everybody ready? Because this is as drugsy as it gets. You thought that this game had some drugsy moments in it before, but no, it doesn't get any more drugsy than us walking up a literal pile of intestines slash brain matter slash umbilical cord up to fight this. I'm gonna go ahead and create a restore point really quick. This is gonna be real strange. So you guys just get ready. Ah, look, it's, it's me. And there's Pokey. Oops, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I, I assist only the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction. But I won't let what the Apple of Enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gigas. Gigas will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gigas, and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gigas, no, Gigas is no longer the wielder of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself which he cannot control on his own. He is the evil power. Okay. Gigas and Cohort attack. Heavily armed Pokey. Gigas tried Sino die in A. I don't know why he has... My abilities. This is never smash. Take that, heavily armed Pokey. Ooh, healed ourselves. Very stinky gas from Pokey. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and use Sign Magnet with both of them, actually. SMASH! I like this smash attack over and over and over again thing that I've been doing. That's really nice. I understand you guys are already claiming to be heroes. Well, it's a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gigas. You must f feel pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gigas looks like. If you were to ever see Gigas, you'd be so petrified with fear, you'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So do you want, to, want me to turn off the devil's machine? Well, prepare to be amazed. So, isn't this terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gigas cannot think rationally anymore. And he isn't even aware of what he is doing now. His own mind is destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he is. <laughs> and you, you'll be just another meal to him. Okay, so here's where we get into the really, really strange stuff. Because what happened was whenever this game was made, the creator... Well, Gigas is a fetus. 
basically the creator, whenever he was a little kid, he walked in on on a, a police rape reel or something like that in a theater. And it scarred him, obviously. And this fight is in some way based on the, the feelings that that gave him. So, yeah, it's, it's a weird thing to be sure. Moops. Can I grasp the true form of Gigas' attack? Well, good thing I just literally healed the whole team. Okay. I think using Shield Omega would probably be a reasonable idea, but I should have Coop do it. Multi bottle rocket. Now the game just gets kind of weird in general. Now obviously the the sound has gone really really strange and the visuals are really strange. Boom! Oh, didn't work on Gigas. Okay. We're gonna save. As much PP for healing as we can. Because really, this is. We're playing the Outlast game. Kind of grass the true form of Gigas' is attack. Gosh darn it. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use a Horn of Life on Ivory. Gosh darn it. Maybe use the Horn of Life on somebody else. Well, that's just dandy, huh? At least I can just keep using the heavy bazooka. This is also the point in the game where prayer actually because becomes something that you want to do. It's actually helpful in this fight. Gosh darn it. Okay, I guess I'm going to be using healing on myself instead. And we'll use a cup of life noodles on Coop. And keep using our heavy bazooka. Ow! Jerk move, bad guy. Gosh darn it! I cannot heal myself of this ailment. Really, really frustrating. Okay, let's go ahead and use Psy Star Storm. <laughs> Must really be at the end of your rope. In this bizarre dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice, and here you stand, waiting to be burned up with all the rest of the garbage of this universe. Ha! <laughs> so sad. I can, can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. So you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> when I call your mommy moops, say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm so frightened. I think I'm going to wet my pants. I know you have telepathy or something, so just try and call for help. You pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will be over soon. Moving into the next phase of the fight. Terrible, heaven-rending sound. He just felt a little strange. Oh good, everyone ended up feeling a little strange. Ah! 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 No, stop! Oh, thank God! Find the way back to normal. It hurts, moops. Okay. Maybe if I use... Okay, let's have moops use healing on ivory. 
and then heavy bazooka, and then use a horn of life on himself. Okay, it hurts, it hurts. Gosh darn it. That's frustrating. So sad, Moops. Ah! Giga stacked himself. Well, that's helpful. Okay. Mm, side magnet will work now. Well, okay, that could have been worse. Okay. Well, I guess let's use the bag of Dragonite. Not gonna help us it, anyway. Yeah, throw a viper at him. He's poisoned. That's helpful. It hurts. It hurts. Yoik! She turned into a dragon. Okay, well, let's pray and see what happens. Super Kenon says, oh hey, what's up, funny guy? Oh, God! <laughs> it's possible, please, somebody help us. Okay, here's where the praying actually comes into effect. <sighs> Hopefully it's not too late because we've, we've been taking a lot of damage. So, we're kind of out of healing items and stuff, so it's kind of going to be kind of difficult. I wish Psy Magnet would work on Gigas. So they, like, gathered together. All of the Mr. Saturns felt a new, startling feeling they had never experienced before, and they all started praying for the safety of Moops and his friends. Gigas's de defenses became unstable. Boom! Okay. Pray. He might be able to have his Psy. Nope, doesn't have an APP. It hurts, it hurts. Moops. Buried from Brahma Fry. Please give us strength. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. Suddenly, one of the Runaway Five felt something stop him, and he prayed fervently for the safety of Moops and his friends. The weirdest thing in the whole game is that this completely useless prayer ability that has just been dangerous to use up to this point suddenly becomes actually important. <laughs> okay. Sure, go ahead, try and mirror Gigas. I'm so sad, Moops. Moops. Ah! from the bottom of her heart. Please give strength, speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. And now Pulstar, which is back where we actually got Ivory way back in the day. Gather up all the chillins and have them pray for Ivory. Ivory's father thought he somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Ivory and her friends. I think I have to do this like six more times, and I don't think I have enough HP to get through all of them. So, we'll have to see. It's kind of unfortunate, but we just didn't 
I'm happy. Look, 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 Gigas is real weird. Gigas is real, real weird. Please give us strength to anyone who can hear our plea. Help us! Super Keenan says, Polestar has you covered. Yeah! Yeah, the do. Alrighty. And now the school that we got Jeff from, or Dross in this case. They're all gonna parade together. Get everything all taken care of. We're not gonna have any problems. Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about Dross, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Dross and his friends. You know it! 218 HP of damage. Well, they finally... SMASH! Finally caught up with dealing about the same amount of damage as me. The damage increases every time we pray. Every single time. Super Kinos is one of the most abstract weird fights in fidget games, which is saying a lot. It really is. It's just bonkers. This idea of fighting this weird, you know, fever dream that it was inspired by, you know, childhood traumas. And a young woman in Dalam woke from a dream in which Prince Coop died. And she began to pray for the well-being of Coop and his friends. And then on top of that, you have the fight won by using... The prayer ability, which in this game has, up to this point, been actually usually more detrimental to your health than not. I still remember whenever I realized that that the ability was worth using in this fight. You know, Ivory, or in that case, Paula, had been the only person left alive. Go back. Which I think is by design, because it actually damages Paula less than the other people, which makes sense. <coughs> so she'll be the only one left alive. So basically, you, you get to this point in the game where she's the only person left alive, and you're out of ideas, and finally you're just like, alright, I'm just gonna pray and see what happens, and then it works, so. Suddenly, Frank recalled Moop's shining young face, and began to pray diligently for the safety of Moops and his friends. It's also a cool way of tying in, like, every character, obviously hitting home this idea that it's been really important in the game up to this point of friendship and everything. Moops, 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 It hurts, moops. Moops, 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 moops. Can I grasp the true form of his hack? Oh, no! Yo! Smash! I feel good. I really need you to not kill Ivory. She's the one person I needed you to not murder late. Ah, dang it. Well. Well, that certainly happened. Earthly Gaming says, hey, I'm into the Earthbound. Oh, gosh! <laughs> yep. This is the main boss battle of the game. And we unfortunately have lost our chance of doing the, the, the real way of killing him. Because you, you have to have Ivory alive to do that. I don't really know for sure if you can even actually beat him without doing that. I actually have no idea. It's not right, not right, not right. You kind of grasp the truth form of Gigas' attack. But I'm assuming that sitting here dealing almost 400 points of damage, eventually he'll die, right? BAM! BAM! Like, you can't have an infinite amount of HP unless you use the prayer ability, right? Deflect it! You should really try something other than electricity against the one guy in the game who can deflect electricity attacks. Yeah, so now we're just kind of in the stalemate where Loops, who at this point has been so strong that he has basically only died like four or five times in the entire game, is just gonna keep walking off any attacks that Gigas 
hits him with. So hey, uh, why don't you guys do me a favor and look and see if you can even beat this fight without using prayer, because it's going to take a while even if it doesn't work, but, uh, even if it does work, but if it, if you literally can't win the game without it, then that's going to be a very different story. I don't want to reload the game or anything either. I would rather die and you know get the experience that I've gotten and stuff up to this point. Oh boy! Ah, girl! Oh, friends! Moops! You cannot grasp the true form of Gigas' attack. I'm so sad, Moops. It's not right. Not right. Gonna crash the true form of Gigas' attack! Really makes this final fight kind of weird and anticlimactic that, like, so many enemies that we've fought up to this point. No! I'm crying! No! Anything but that! Oh, it's gonna take forever now! Please just kill me! Please! Put me out of my misery! Uh, let's see, Super Keenan says I'm searching. It's looking like no on killing him without prayer. Oh, good! Oh my gosh. This fight will never end. Oh my gosh! Okay, I think the only thing that I can really do at this point is just go ahead and reload. Yeah, alright, we're just gonna load the restore point from the beginning of the fight. If it's if it's true that you just literally can't fight him without using prayer, then I'm not gonna sit here and waste hours doing it. Maybe we'll get luckier this time. I had a lot of deaths early on in the fight last time. It was very frustrating. Come on! Come on! Let's do it. Alright guys, let's do it! We gotta pull out every single bag of tricks that we have in order to make sure that we finish this fight quickly. Because the more damage and stuff we get at the beginning of the fight before we can do the prayer thing, the worse. Which we have all the items that we need in order to just... What? Gosh darn it. Come on, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Gosh darn it! It's not gonna work, darn it! <sighs> now I just have to waste that. Ah, uh, it's so frustrating. Picnic lunch on Dross. Now Dross used the multi bottle rock. Actually, I think the heavy bazooka is doing more damage last time, though. So. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Earth Gamer Genetics says it all said it was script or fight. No matter what, you would just have to uh, been in an endless fight if you're not able to use prayer. To begin, it's interesting. It looks like there was an exploit where poison can kill, him, but they fixed that for the U.S. version. Earthly Gaming says, "Ah, yeah, I saw that." Yeah, and the funny thing is, is I had poisoned him actually. So this one does not look to be going any better. In fact, it looks like it could be going worse. Gosh darn it. Uh, this is just my life now. No worries. We're gonna get this. It's gonna be okay. I've 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 dealt with worse before. In fact, this fight has been worse for me before because I was a lower level last the the first time I ever beat the game. <laughs> well, I guess I'm probably going to move my restore point to inside the fight, or right around here. So we don't have to keep skipping through all that every time from now on. That would be a pain. Real, real pain, yo. Okay. So I know it's about dealing more damage to Pokey on this part of the fight. I definitely want to get some more PP going. Especially because this version of Gigas actually has PP. Oh, that's right. I need to use a shield. That'll help. Smash! Yeah! Okay, that was helpful. Stinky gas makes everybody's offense go down. I understand. Okay. Definitely want to heal everybody. And then use Psy Magnet again. And then use the Heavy Bazooka again. And then we're going to use... Whoo, that was close. Real close there for a second. Oh, good. It just didn't work on Ivory. That's really helpful. Really random and really helpful. <laughs> okay, everybody's HP is maxed out. Keep absorbing more Psy. More Psy for him as well, since he's also a healer. Uh, DDX says, uh, if it wasn't this difficult, then I would reconsider calling it final boss. Who can just eat it, Pokey? You know it. Okay. Just sitting here trying to get as much sigh as I can out of this stage in the fight, because it's the only time in the fight where you can actually absorb PP. So especially Coop, who can heal people, and has... Yeah! Smash! Um, can you stop talking, Pokey? Because you're letting my friends die, and I really don't want that. Sack of crap. Does it count as a different fight? In which case, does Ivory now have one HP? No, it does not. Okay, good. Thanks for letting me know that. Very helpful. <coughs> okay. Well, time to bring Ivory back to life. We'll use life up beyond draws. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think it's time to pray yet, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I take it back. I specifically remember when you start praying now. Oh, let's use that bag of Dragonite now. Okay. Get everybody's HP up a little higher. Yikes! She turned into a fire-breathing dragon! She turned into a dragon. Uh, let's see if the monkey's love will work on him. Uh, use a defense shower. Uh, and then throw a viper at him. Ha-ha! He got poisoned! Pin the Gigas down with his tiny body, but it didn't work for reasons. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Alright, I really am more, like, in a better situation this time than I was last time. Finally, actually, in pretty good shape. It's just gonna take me a minute to actually deal any damage and actually get him. Ow! Okay, here's Pokey again. Must really be at the end of your rope. In this bizarre dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice. Here you stand. That's so sad, I can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. terror. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> then I call your mommy moves. Say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm so frightened. I think I'm going to wet my pants. I know you have telepathy or something, so just try and call for help. Pathetically, we heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will be over soon. Whew. Let's see. Uh, Dedex says, after all you've done for Pokey, Shake said, I know, right? We've really just been a best friend to him. Um, Super Kidon says, yeah, grapple that metaphysical evil. Yep. It's time to really get down to the nitty-gritty. Now it really is all about just making sure that we have the... Uh, just making sure that Ivory stays alive, basically, is, is the whole point now. I was actually hoping to give that to Dross, but I forgot that there's no way to move items in combat, which is really kind of awful. No! Gosh darn it! You sack of poop! Okay, welcome back to the stream, Dianetics. Gosh darn it. Alright, so we're back to the part of the fight where we're actually praying for help. And Ivory and Moobs are the only ones alive right now, which is okay, because they're the only ones that really matter. <laughs> Guess I could bring Coop back to life and then have him just defend the entire time, and maybe that might help. I remember this being an oddly anticlimactic ending in a weird way, because it's it's so drugsy and so weird, but the fight itself, like the enemy you know, Gigas, like he aside from his just random like insta kills and stuff like that, he's not dealing too much damage and it just seems weirdly out of place for a game that's has such balanced combat up to this point, and then suddenly for the the last fight to be this whole prayer based thing. And it is really interesting and neat idea. I totally support that. Uh, it's just still strange. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Life Up B on Moobs so that he 
he stays alive. Because clearly, he needs to have enough HP in order that if he needs to heal Ivory, he can do that. Basically, so that he doesn't die in one hit and then leave Ivory alone. Okay, back at the Elite Four one, so we have like probably seven more prayers that have to be said. <laughs> I don't remember the exact number, but I definitely remember it going through a lot of the side characters in the game. So I think about seven more groups of side characters makes sense. Okay. I feel good. I already couldn't stop crying, but I couldn't give a darn. Because she doesn't need to be able to see to close her eyes and get down on her knees. And clasp her hands. And say a prayer. Ask the good Lord to bless and keep us. You know how it is. Hallelujah. Ah. Just got to get through the, the pole star one. Those moments where you wish that it was an emulation, so you could go ahead and just fast forward. Because there is no fast forward on the Wii U. I realize that there's no reason to keep reviving the other party members because they can't do anything for us actually and they're just going to keep dying and I'm going to have to keep reviving them, which means they're not actually worth the PP that I would have to spend to keep them alive, which is really unfortunate! Superkidna says, keep rock rock a rockin' and uh, Dnex says, kick that non-form non -form confiding boss's butt. <laughs> Yes, that's what we are planning on doing. We're definitely planning on kicking his ethereal butt all over this plane of existence. Keep on shoveling out the pain, Ivory. Moops, 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 moops. Cannot grasp the true form of Gigas. Body has been solidified. Those jerks! Anyone who can hear our plea, help us! If you at home want to play the Earthbound home game, you too can be praying for me. Okay, so this is that one. I think the last one that we did last time was Frank. Oh! Oh dang, I forgot about that. Um, use that cup of life noodles on Moops real quick. Him not being able to do anything is going to be really... No! Okay. Whew. Oh, okay. I thought he had been paralyzed or diamondized or something like that that counted him as dead because he wasn't able to do anything last turn. But I guess he was just... Okay. I understand. Never mind. I was confused. All right. I need you to not kill Ivory. All right, that's your that's your job. All right, buddy. You're just gonna not kill her, and I'm gonna heal her, and then she gonna pray, and you gonna die. That's the plan. <laughs> Super Kid says, "Always praying for you, bud." Dean Hedick says, "We are all praying for you." Thank you, I appreciate it. It actually is very nice. Suddenly, Frank recalled Moops' shining face. You pray diligently for the safety of Moops and his friends. Ah, <coughs> uh, excuse me. Let's 
It's not right. Not right. Not right. It's not right. Not right. Not right. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. Okay. So, this is further than we got in the fight last time. Ooh, this is great. Supercan says, unfortunately, I got a lot of documentation to write today, which doesn't mix well with listening to streams, so I'm hoping, uh, hopping back off. I want to stop in during my lunch break, though. Good to see your streams going again, though. I'm glad you're feeling better. Bye, Super Keenan. Suddenly, Moop's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. I'm just saying, Super Keenan, we're at the very end. You can watch the end. You, you can see how it ends, because I know you don't know how it ends. I'm just joking. I know you know how it ends. <coughs> well, this just went a lot more drugs. No! Oh! Smash! Ah, oh, so frustrating. Ivory is revived. Moops, 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 Ivory's call was absorbed by the darkness. Moops was able to move. All right, Ivory. Can't remember. Can't remember if there's any more praying to do right now or not. Someone, can you hear me? Please give us strength. Ivory and her friends' calls touched the hearts of. It's. Gam. Prayed for the kids. He had never met before. And this. Is, mm, kept praying. Neha Bek Gims. Kept praying. 11,000 damage. Nathan Blake Games kept praying. If you didn't know how this game ended, uh, gets a little meta. <laughs> Moops, now I, well, it's gonna seem like I'm running away, but perhaps I'll just sneak away to another era to think about my next plan. It's good bet that we will see each other again. All right, I'll be seeing you. So now which one of us do you think is the cool guy? <coughs> uh, Super says thanks, he's well. <coughs> this is pretty close, I could probably stretch it a bit. Ah, snap, it's true, we're doing it. First time I've beaten this game as an adult, so it's very interesting feeling. I kind of think of it, this is the... Part of the intro scene is this red fuzz. And there you have it, folks. We have done the impossible. We have defeated the evil Lord Gigas. Those are our little robot bodies because we couldn't come into this dimension with our real bodies.
The war against Gigas is over. Superkeen says this fuzz wreaks hell on stream bit rates. <laughs> is it cleared up? Is it better now? <laughs> I imagine it's pretty bad for the for it to try to process that. <laughs> I guess those are our little souls coming out of our little robot bodies. You gotta kind of wonder though, like with as good as technology is nowadays, why, why it would be so hard for a game to process, or for my computer to process, you know, red fuzz. I guess we return to the right time, too. Supercan says, oh good, their souls aren't trapped at the end of time. Yeah, it was close there for a second. Kind of wondered. <laughs> Our travels together end here. I must return to Dalam and use this experience for the good of my country. Oops, I have rage draws. Let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realize this power is a child. Sigh, farewell. Now, I'll see you again someday. He got all the special teleports. His teleports are always better than my- Ah, presents! There's presents! Ivory, oops. It was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If, just maybe, well, if you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm gonna stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Ant Donuts. I mean, from my dad. So it looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. Ah, it's great that we have a, a repairman now. Super Keon says, why didn't you use that before? This is a great question. Oops, will you escort me home? Yes. I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. Oops, open the present. There's a letter from the kids inside. Oops, takes it. Oops, open the present. A letter from mom inside. Oops, takes it. Oops, open the present. There's a letter from Tony inside. Oops, takes it. Dear Ivory, how are you doing? I'm fine. I fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Polestar Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the Polestar Preschool. Dear Dross, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. Can't wait to see your cheerful face. Bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. <coughs> P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Dear Moops, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, you don't seem, we don't seem to eat bagels as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character that was, that, what was that, what was it, uh, Googie or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy, Suit, and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. Let's see. Super Kid says, always got to save a card up your sleeve, I guess. And I like how Jeff is consigned to being a poultry repairman and live vicariously through another couple. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, Earthly Gaming says, yeah, no kidding. Super Kid says, Google. It was Google. Yeah, Google was definitely the one. <laughs> it was fun hanging out together. 
It's a miracle, a miracle that has only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime's worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come uh, come with you as a robot. I should have used the phase disorder. What a story that would have been. Scientists and four kids saved the world. Ah! <laughs> chance of Gigas gaining victory with his monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that Gigas fails. I must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. Incredible. Excellent. I'm not quite sure what for, but congratulations on a job well done. If you ever have a chance to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe you could play horseshoes, too. It was in winters that we last met. I just got here. <laughs> Mr. Saturn! Zoom. Alright. Time to walk her home. We're gonna walk her home the fast way! Phoenix says, Google is the root of all evil. And Supercan says, Guy who wants to play horseshoes is my favorite character. Yeah, he's, he's pretty great. Here we are, guys. It's the home stretch. It's been a whole lot of fun. It's been really, really cool. I'm really happy that we went through this adventure together and that you, you guys got to be here. He's smiling. Oops, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. Let's go ahead and step in and see what she says. You've lost some weight since I saw you last, Moops. Ivory must have had quite an adventure. I'm glad you live so close to us. Why don't you drop by more often? I'm working on making better bagels. You're a very strong young man. My opinion of you has changed. Perhaps you should continue dating Ivory. Just treat her right. Come by and visit any time. You can even sleep on the living room couch instead of the one in the den. <coughs> I don't see a living room couch or a den couch. No. Oops, open the present. There's a teddy bear inside, but he has too much stuff already. It's almost metaphorical. Oops, I guess it's time for you to go home. Everyone's probably worried about you. Almost metaphorical. I'll come up here. Try to reattain some memories and some... Some lost moments that I could have had with Ivory and... My inventory is too full. All right, guys. Ha ha! And now the final home stretch. I like that the game actually ended with like us taking back control and like actually walking home. It's a it's a cool way of handling it, of it just being our opportunity to walk through. I think we can talk to people and and you know find out more about how people are doing at the end of the world and stuff. But I think I'd rather just go home, call it a night, and get some rest. Oh, hey, let's call Dad real quick to get your next level. <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday, Moops. I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely, but I want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. I'll see you at home then. Bye. Ah, oh, Dad's happy. Other dogs haven't figured it out yet, but I know that you guys saved the world. Let's go talk to Tracy really quick. Goody, my brother is back. You've got a lot of catching up to do with your schoolwork. <laughs> if you have any problems with your assignments, I'll help too. I'll help you. Don't get freaked out. Did Escargo, my old company, help you? I've saved some money, so we'll do the lunch thing sometime. You all, you also got a new girlfriend? Your adventure must have been pretty good. Do you need help with anything other than your schoolwork? What do you want me to do? Just, uh, guess I don't really need anything else. I said take care. It just slipped out of my mouth. Just like I was talking to you when you were gone. Ooh. Ness's voice has dropped, says Hupakinon. York! 
Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all of your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. Did you finish doing everything you wanted to? Okay, now we can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. And here we are, at the end of it all. I'm really excited that we got to play Earthbound together. I'm, I'm super excited that we got to do a full playthrough on streams, um, just because it made it where we were just kind of hanging out together, which was really, really cool. Super Kid says, everyone keeps talking like Ness and Paula are dating, but is Paula aware of this? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, er, Dnetics says, I feel like the ending is strangely hinting that moves is starting to go through puberty. Picky Minch, Laudna Minch. Alosius Minch, Pokey Minch, Buzz Buzz, Liar X Adjurate, Frank Fly. You know, the sharks. I miss games that actually like had like a roll call. BH Perkle. That's Mayor Perkle. Captain Strong. On it, police force. Superkidon says, yeah, good job getting all the way through the end. My favorite games are ones the character cast at the end. I know, right? Ivory's mom, Ivory's dad, Ivory. Orange Kid. Apple Kid. Mr. Everdread. The Runaway Five! Da, 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 da. Happy Happiest. Car Painter. It's always the Manny Manny statue's fault. Which was the evil inside of Moops or something? Bubba Monkey, Tony, Maxwell, Tessie, Tessie Watching Club. Brick Road, Doctor and Donuts. Draws. Uh, Dnake says, wow, this was an awesome experience. Really cool hanging out. And Superkinon says, Super Mario World did it. And Superkinon says, for sure excited for whatever the next adventure will be. Mr. Saturn. <coughs> Master Belch. <coughs> Excuse me. George Montague. Gerardo Montague. Teleroma. Gildegard Montoli, Venus. Coop. Coop's master. Star master. Dungeon man. Noble warrior. You know, noble warrior. The guy we met so many times. The Tinder tribesman. That's not a Tinder Tribesman, that was a Shatter Man. Flying Men, only one of them died, thank you very much. That's like roll call for all of the just random NPCs. Including, you know, girl in bikini. <laughs> Dad and Suit. Tracy, Moops, and Mom. Like the dad just is a phone. I mean, what else would he be, right? <sighs> yeah, so Earthbound's always been one of my favorite games, and so I'm really excited that we got to play it, hang out together, and just really enjoy it. So, thanks for being here. Thanks for going on this adventure with me. And I guess we'll just, uh, you know, go ahead and, oh, he's getting ready to take a picture of us. Fuzzy Pickles. Thanks guys, thanks for coming on this adventure with me, seeing, seeing where the game ends, seeing all this craziness. 
Uh, Earthbound always has a special place in my heart as a game that I played whenever I was little with my grandparents, and uh, just as I grew older, I've come come back to it a couple times, and just always really loved it. It's just a really unique game. It's just got so much character, and so much love put into it. So I just uh, appreciate you guys being here, hanging out, talking in the chat, and yeah, I guess that's it for today. Next week we'll probably get into playing something else, probably another JRPG. I was thinking about Custom Robo, which is pretty cool. So maybe we'll see some Custom Robo next week. But, yeah. Super Kenon says Fuzzy Pickles. DNX says Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles, guys. Fuzzy Pickles. Super Kenon says, glad we shared that moment. Me too. DNX uh, says, I can't wait to see what is in store next. And Super Kenon says, every NPC in the game three hours later. Yeah. <laughs> DNX says, I am too. In, in reference to sharing concept of Saturn font by Shigesato Etoe. That's fun. Yeah, if you look, these are these are all the moments in the game that, that the picture guy took a picture of us, which is, you know, just a lot of good fun. Very cool. So yeah, maybe we'll try to figure out if there's a way we could play the Mother 3 somehow. I, I don't remember if there's ever been any way it's been released in English before, but I'm pretty sure that's, at the very least fans have translated it, so probably wouldn't be quite as good of a localization as a real Earthbound localization would be because they have the best localizations, but you know. Earth of Gaming says, ah, the memories. Or rather, Dnetics says that. Since he has a different name now, it's confusing. You're confusing me, Dnetics! But yeah. It was really good. It really like kind of hallmarks and it's kind of hallmark in the channel. One of our our very first, it's our very first game to finish in a live stream, and you know it, it just shows that we can keep pushing through. We can keep playing more games, beating more games, having more fun. Channel will keep growing, audience will keep growing, and as long as you guys are willing to help me spread the word to your your friends and families and stuff like that, the the channel can keep getting bigger and the community can grow and. Our ability to help charity and stuff like that can grow too. So, um, we were going to have a charity live stream at the beginning of this month, and then I was insanely ill. So, yeah. We'll have to iron that out soon. <laughs> but anyway, I guess we'll go ahead and call it a day here on the stream. So thank you so much for being here, going on this adventure. Oh wait, no, actually I think there is a, a couple more fun moments at the end of the credits that I want to see. You know, it's got secret credit scenes, like most games. Special thanks to Kinji Endo, Miyuki Kure, Takeyuki Omedaro, Fakushi Omarita Yukoro Takakashi, blah 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 blah. So many names that I am in capable of, of pronouncing Nancy and many others. The producers wish to thank I think we're coming up on the end of the credits or pretty close anyway. Also, it's just great music and great memories. So why would we want to skip out on this, right? Also, I'm going to try to uh, create an actual playlist for the Earthbound streams, uh, name them better, and give them numbers. So if you ever feel like going back and seeing this over again, it will be much easier to figure out what order things are in. Presented by Nintendo, in association with Ape Inc. and HAL Laboratory Inc. I miss you. And player Nathan Blake Games. Ah, I always love that. It's really cool that it went ahead and 
kept track of what our name was so that it could use it in different points in the game. Really cool. Very neat. Very random that it happened, too. I think that's it. I think that's the end. Super Keenan says, we're all the player. That's true. <laughs> so thanks, guys, for coming on this adventure with me. Thanks for, for being here and uh, just sharing in this and taking part in it. And, uh, yeah. For now, this is Nathan Blake signing off for Nathan Blake Games. And, uh, wait a second. Wait a second. This is different. The game is still going, guys. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. What could possibly be happening? My land, who could be knocking at this time of night? Would you answer it? It's picky! A letter arrived from my brother, Pokey. It is addressed to Moops. There's no stamp, and it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, come and get me, losers. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. <laughs> the end. Question mark? Superkid says, Mother 3 is starting. Get out of bed. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much, guys. I will see you in the next one. I had way too much fun doing this, so it was super, super great. And uh, now I'm going to eat some food and get ready for making some more videos today. So, we'll see, uh, as always, we'll see you in the next one. For now, this is Nathan Blake signing off for Nathan Blake Games. Fuzzy Pickle.